Mom and dads know how expensive it can get having a child participate. There's the jerseys, the shoulder pads, the helmets, all that equipment, and it adds up, and that's why St. Joseph Band of Football hosting a fundraiser. We, uh, Wade Wettwoffer is here, and he's got more. How are you today? I'm doing good, sir. H how many kids are involved in football, in Bantam football? About 150 kids in St. Joe. How many teams? Uh, there's four, third grade through eighth grade. It's kind of fun getting them as third graders and just teaching them the sport, isn't it? <laughs> Most definitely. Most I, I, I mean, they understand the concepts of it. They're familiar enough, but, but as far as where they're supposed to go and win, do they all just chase the ball? <laughs> and at the begin with, yes, they do. At uh, early age, it's all about trying to teach the fundamentals. And as they get older in seventh and eighth grade, we start doing more and more skills and, and playing real football. Well, you're talking about fundamentals, but, but a lot of that is safety for sure. And all that equipment that they need, it, it adds up, like we said. And it definitely is changing, obviously, with all the head injuries. I mean, it just continues to be more and more expensive and more and more crucial to have the right equipment. Technology is changing, though, also. And I guess that makes it a little more expensive. But, but uh, talk about the helmets these kids get. Well, the helmets obviously have been around for a few years, but they keep changing. I mean, Northwest just came out with a new helmet. Obviously, we don't have technology like that at the youth level. But yes, definitely helmets keep growing, keep getting safer and safer for the for the athletes. So you got a fundraiser planned? Yes, we do, sir. Uh, double header is what I called it. <laughs> it is. I know that's usually a baseball term, but you got a football one. That's right. We have the seventh graders playing at 5:30 there at Benton um, on Wednesday, September 26th, and our eighth graders are going to play at 7:30. What's their season run usually? So we start in the middle of August. There's the tournament up in uh, Savannah. It's called the Gridiron, and then I will go till about the end of October. How many games do they play? Uh, we'll play about 10 games each. What's it like seeing them at the start of a season compared to the end and how much they learn? It's just even the course of one year. Oh, most definitely they change. Uh, I was just looking at film from the seventh grade when our first couple games last year at the gridiron. We were very sloppy, um, didn't really understand what was going on. Obviously, they knew the basics, but uh, by the end of the year, things are definitely get rolling, and this year we're starting off very well. Well, as important as high school football here is in St. Joe in the area, this is really the, the growing grounds of these kids who will end up playing. That is definitely true, and unfortunately, we don't have quite the numbers that uh, we need. Obviously, more equipment. Hopefully, uh, more athletes will come out and help grow the sport. Obviously, right now, there's like 23 in eighth grade um, that play football, so that's feeding three high schools, so we definitely need more participants. Need more. All right, let's get details on the fundraiser again. It is coming up next Wednesday at Benton. That is correct. And in addition to the two games, there's uh, some prizes, raffles, all of that sort of stuff. They're pretty good prizes. That is like. good. We're trying to have some good prizes and uh, obviously make it a good fundraiser for the club. All right. Um, folks need any more information about how they could get their kids signed up for this or in future years. Uh, how can they reach someone with Bantam football? So we have a website, St. Joseph Youth Football, and you can uh, see there and get the information there. Signups are usually in the summer around July, early August. And once again, practice starts um, in early August. All right. Thanks, Wade, again. Uh, next Wednesday, the fundraiser at Benton for the Bantam Kids. Thanks so much. Thank you. We come back on Live at 5. How